survey them. They only get 10.4 miles per gallon, but they only go about 20 or 25 miles a day. So someone finally woke up and said, wait a minute, this is a perfect application for electric cars. Here's a gas vehicle that gets horrible gas because it's stop and go. It's idling all the time, but it doesn't go that far. There was, again, a competition, and only Zap and four other companies have been selected now to take one of these vehicles, pull out all the gas stuff that you don't need anymore, and instead put in a clean electric car. Better battery has arrived, okay? This is the original lead acid battery. It's real heavy. This battery Oh. It weighs about 90 pounds. Okay? Sure, is that okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, this battery has three times the energy yes. in that battery. And you can see, it's so much lighter. Wow. It's three times the energy, yet much lighter. So they are all coming to California to really work. Good. All right. Cool. And, and we also think there's a multiplier effect um, of jobs. Because every time you bring a green job, yes, we're hiring people here. But then we're hiring people. Yeah. Okay? We're, we're getting the batteries from Indiana. Sure, sure. We're getting the motors from Ohio. We're right. getting controllers yeah. from Detroit. Right. Yeah. So it's uh -huh. a multiplier effect. Uh -huh. of I'm seeing uh, job creation. I'm seeing green technology. I'm right. seeing, Why are you doing? I'm <laughs> 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 seeing right. finally uh, yeah, our country really catching good. up to the, the forward thinking of Zap. I so appreciate Zap for hanging in there all these years to uh, knowing what we should be doing as a country. And uh, I think the great majority of members of Congress, the House particularly, know that he was right and that this is where we need to be investing.